Hi, my name's Amber. Welcome back to my channel, Books and Beaches. So today I want to talk about a few of the books that are going to be coming out in the month of December. So I have, as I look at my list here, eight books that I want to talk about. Um, these are all pretty much in like my favorite genres. Uh, as I was doing some of my research, there are a good portion of books coming out in December, but these are the ones that are like calling me the most. Um, so let's take a look and get started. The first set of books, and actually the first five, all come out on December 6th. The very first one I have the audio arc of, and I'm super excited to listen to it, and that is The Widowmaker by Hannah Morrissey, and she's actually a local author to Wisconsin, so I'm super excited to be able to have that book to read. Um, and I'm peeking down at my computer here. But this one says it's a wealthy family shrouded in scandal, a detective tasked with solving an impossible cold case, and a woman with a dark past um, are all going to collide. Um, and it's a Black Harbor mystery, which I'm assuming maybe is either a series there that she has. I haven't read anything from her yet. I do have um, Hello Transcriber waiting for me to read here, um, but I haven't picked it up yet. So, but uh, it's a thriller mystery. Um, actually not too long of a book. It's only 304 pages. So I am looking forward because I'll actually get to pick this one up. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> before uh, the date that that comes out. The next one coming out on December 6th is The Last Invitation by Darby Kane. And let me pull this one up. I believe I already have a book by Darby Kane. I think it's one of my book of the month books. You know, it's probably behind me. So, um, but this one, yeah, is The Last Invitation. Oh, she wrote Pretty Little Wife. See, I knew I was going to be able to see that. Um, and it says this one is going to be another gripping and twisty suspense about an invitation to an exclusive club that comes with deadly consequences. And in most of these, I'm not going to read too far into the description because especially with thrillers, I like going in knowing a little less than a little more because um, I think some of these tend to give away things that we don't want to know about in thrillers. But that'll probably be one I pick up. Maybe it'll even end up being a book of the month pick. Who knows? Because I think her last one was, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. <sighs> the next one. And I have not read much by this um, author. But the one book I have blew me away. This is My Darkest Prayer by S.A. Cosby. Now the only book I've read by S.A. Cosby so far is Razor Blade Tears, but that will probably make my top books of the year so far. And I am really looking forward to this one coming out. Um, oh, and it looks like it's actually being republished in a new edition. So this one has already been out, which I didn't realize, and I apologize because that is my error in my research. Um, it was first published in 2019. So sorry, but hey, it's a new edition. So um, <laughs> ooh, I don't even want to read anything past this, but the first quote that's listed on here is, I will handle the bodies. So if you've read this one, let me know in the comments below how you felt about it. Um, like I said, it was totally my mistake, but I didn't realize it was like a new book coming out. But that's the nature of the research. So December 6th, new version. So next up on December 6th, um, this one is No Accident by Laura Bates. And I do believe, if I am remembering correctly, this is YA. Yep. Um, it's a YA like mystery thriller, which I like. That's typically like the YA I go for. And the whole reason that this one caught my attention is because when I was reading this, it says the wilds meet, meets one of us is lying, which Karen M. McManus is one of my favorite YA authors. Um, in this survivalist YA thriller about seven teens who are stranded, stranded on a desert island and the one who is out for revenge. So I was like, mm-hmm. Yep, adding that one to that in my list. So December 6th it is. And then the very last book on my list that comes out on December 6th is The Ingenue by Rachel Kapelke Dale. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that one right. Um, 
And this one, I, I, I thought the description was kind of interesting as well. It says, My Dark Vanessa meets the Queen's Gambit in a new novel of suspense about the bonds of family, the limits of talent, the risks of ambition, and the rewards of revenge. So I was like, mm, there's some good buzzwords in there. So, and the cover is really actually quite gorgeous. Um, I'll put it up here, obviously. Uh, so, and yes, I did have to teach myself how to say the word ingenue. So looking forward to that one coming out on the 6th. Now, these last couple that I found that I was interested in are all coming out on December 27th. So just after the holidays, if those are the holidays that you celebrate. Um, the very first one is All the Dark Places by Terry Parlato. Um, and I feel like I have seen this one on several Goodreads giveaways. So I think that was where it was first on my radar. Um, and it's got some really good ratings so far. Um, it looks like uh, people that are reading the ARC. And when I saw the first two names of authors, it's so it says, for the fans of Megan Miranda and Sherry Lapina, which are two of my favorite thriller authors, or two that I tend to pick up a lot. Um, it says this stylish debut thriller. So, ooh, a debut. I love a good debut. Um, from a skillful new voice in suspense, introduces seasoned Boston detective Rita Myers investigating the murder of a seemingly, seemingly perfect husband. It's got unexpected twists and well-drawn characters. So I was like, ooh, okay. Um, definitely something that I am looking forward to picking up. Next up on the 27th, and this one I actually did not know about until I started doing my research today, is A Small Affair by uh, Flora Collins. And this one says, a seesaw of rising tension that ultimately delivers a raw, crashing conclusion. I was like, okay. Um, and it says, a young woman's life is torn apart when her wealthy ex-lover is found dead, along with his wife. So... Like I said, I don't like to read too much into these. I want to, you know, kind of be surprised when I jump into some of that one. But that one definitely sounds like something I would be interested in picking up. And then the very last one for the month of December that I am looking into also comes out on the 27th, like I said. And that's One Last Secret by Adele Parks. Now, I don't believe I've ever read anything by Adele Parks. But I think I've had a lot of titles that sounded interesting to me. So this one, the tagline says, everyone has secrets, don't they? And ooh, it looks like it's going to be um, in the south of France, which sounds great. Um, and there's a lot of details in here, but it says one last client, one last chance, one last secret. So like I said, I don't like going too much into it. And actually, this one was a Goodreads giveaway as well. So by the time I get this up, I'm sure that might be closed. But, oh, my goodness. You know what, everybody? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Once again, my research has failed me. And now that I'm looking at this, it said this was first published in June of 2022. So it came out this year. Um, But I'm wondering... This must be the paperback release coming out in December. So I apologize, everyone. But hey, who doesn't love a good, like, thriller suspense recommendation? So clearly my research skills did not um, make me successful today. But I hope that you enjoyed some of these recommendations. I am looking forward to these coming out, whether they are paperback releases or re-releases or actually brand new releases in December. Do you know of any other books coming out in December? What should I add to my list? As always, thank you for joining me today. If you liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.